In this video, we're going to be piggybacking a little bit off of my previous video, which I talked about how learning works specifically for ethical hacking. And in this video, we're going to talk about some of the struggles you may face as you're trying to actually learn ethical hacking and my recommendations on how to overcome some of these struggles. And the first one that we often encounter, and I know I encountered it, is I wanted to learn everything at once. I had Googled what do I need to know in order to become an ethical hacker. And I remember just seeing this gigantic list and going, oh man, this is a a lot of things there's so much here how am i ever going to learn all this and i'll tell you the way to go about this is just make a list and then go through one thing at a time and don't jump around one of the biggest mistakes that pretty much anybody makes in pretty much any industry is jumping around too much from one thing to another within that specific area of study and this is definitely true in the world of ethical hacking there is so much to learn and so much interesting stuff that you don't spend an adequate amount of time learning just one specific topic Topic and you bounce around and I know I did the exact same thing and what will happen is you end up ultimately wasting time and I know that when you get stuck on a specific exploit which is number two getting stuck on a specific exploit and you cannot figure out what to do about it sometimes we'll spend two three days on a CTF maybe and you're trying to figure out how to get this vulnerability to work and you feel like you spend an entire day four hours and then the next day you come back and you spend another four hours and you still didn't figure out how to get it to work you can feel very deflated thinking man i'm never going to get this i wasted the last two days of my life trying to get this exploit to work but then maybe on the third day you get it to work and it was really easy and you'll feel like that you have wasted that time but really you've built up a little bit of persistence you have you know you'll have the persistence to actually get the exploit to work so don't view it as you wasted your time but rather you have helped build up endurance think of it this way if you're going to try to run five miles usually you don't just get up and run five miles the very first day you'll run a mile and then two miles and three miles until you have the endurance to make it all the way to the race everything in the world of ethical hacking is going to take time i saw Sometimes still spend days on CTFs and will still have to look up a walkthrough because I cannot get something to work and that is perfectly okay and it is going to happen to you I'm sure it happens to everybody at every single level that you're just gonna get hung up or maybe not know something and you're gonna spend a ton of time trying to figure it out and it's not a waste of time because you're building up that persistence so don't be deflated if you spent a bunch of time trying to get an exploit to work and it takes days to figure it out your time is not wasted just keep going and keep moving forward and and number three is getting burnout or giving up too early. This is a really big one in the world of cybersecurity because there is so much there and it can take a long time to get a job in the field of cybersecurity or even to start making money as a bug bounty hunter. It can take time. I've said it before that in the world of bug bounty hunting and ethical hacking in general, that time is going to be your greatest adversary because this isn't something you're just going to be able to figure out in a month or two months or three months. Probably going to take you about a year before you're really becoming competent within the field if you think about it in pretty much any field in the entire world if you want to become a medical doctor it takes a long time if you want to become an accountant it takes a long time no matter what you want to do it's going to take time in order to reach that specific goal at the end and so don't think of the field of cybersecurity or ethical hacking as something you can just master in six months it's going to take time and burnout is something you need to avoid if possible and i recommend checking out the first video in the description it is the previous video to this one that should help you i'm hoping avoid that burnout and to keep you motivated in the field of cybersecurity. And the final struggle that I think most beginners in cybersecurity face is you're gonna get stuck in the purgatory of tutorials. You're gonna watch hours and hours and hours of people doing exploits and walking through machines and CTFs and vulnerabilities and it's really not going to help you that much. You're gonna, maybe you can take notes but you're gonna have to practice. Don't just get stuck in the purgatory of watching tutorials. You're actually gonna have to go out and practice. So if you want to become an ethical hacker I have a course I'll link it down below the EJPT course it's going to walk you through some of the things that you need to know in order to become an ethical hacker and you will be able to practice along the way and the same thing for bug bounty hunting I will link that as the third link in the description if you want to follow along with that I give you lots of opportunity to understand the vulnerabilities practice the vulnerabilities and do walkthroughs on different CTS so that's kind of the way I help people avoid the tutorial purgatory and also the previous video I put out to this one should help you kind of map out how to practice and how learning works as a whole and trying to figure out which way you learn best 
So with that, thanks for watching this video. Let me know what struggles that you actually are facing as you're trying to learn in the world of cybersecurity. In the next video, I'm gonna talk about where I get the hacker and exploit news from that kind of helps keep me up to date with what's going on in the community. So if you're interested in things like that, you can go ahead and hit the subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.